Now let us take a look at the success rates of IUI and IVF. IUI stands for intrauterine insemination. For one cycle of IUI, one is looking at a success rate of around 20 to 25 percent. With IUI, usually though we can offer up to six cycles of IUI, majority of the pregnancies which happen with IUI happen in the first three cycles. So at the end of three cycles, if a pregnancy has not been achieved with the IUI process, we have to relook into the uh, issues, which have issues, which means we might have to offer them further options. The further options are either laparoscopic or keyhole surgery followed by three more cycles of IUI, and we would prefer this option in a couple who have a short period of subfertility, whereas if a couple have got a longer period of subfertility or certain issues related to the sperm, we would prefer them to move on to what is called IVF or in vitro fertilization. Now coming to the success rates of IVF and how it compares with the success rate of IUI. With IVF, one single cycle of IVF, particularly if the female partner's age is less than 35 years, we are looking at a success rate somewhere between 60 to 70 percent in good clinics. So this is almost three times as what you would get with an IUI cycle. Because in IVF, we have more information as opposed to what we would obtain with an IUI cycle. With IVF, particularly if we use what is called a day 5 transfer or a blastocyst transfer, we are looking at really good success rates even with just one cycle of IVF. And another important thing to remember is if one, the cumulative success rates, which means if three cycles of IVF, either the fresh cycle followed by a frozen cycle, if surplus embryos are there, can contribute to uh, uh, success in vast majority of the couples who seek fertility treatment. Say for instance, 10 couples present to us for IVF, more than 9 out of 10 are we are able to help with the latest technology in achieving pregnancy using IVF.